Kienaway River is a major undammed tributary to the Yakima River, and the it provides a lot of importance to both the fish that are coming upstream and the irrigators that are downstream. This 50,000 acres that the state purchased in 2013 comprise about a third of the watershed of the Tianaway. The protection and conservation and restoration of those acres was a, was a major first step of the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan. As we lose the snowpack, we are going to have to be trying to find ways to get these river basins to do what the snowpack used to do for us, which is store water. By recharging that groundwater table, we're going to have more water in the entire Tianaway during those low periods of the year. We all live in a watershed, even if you don't think you do, even in urban areas. And what happens upstream eventually reaches downstream. It's protecting the entire area. This is an area that is um, unique to Washington. I'm a geologist. It's Honestly, we can use that word unique. People come to this area, the Tianaway, from around the world to study the geology. It's um, also a huge recreation draw, and people from all over the state come to Kittitas County to recreate in these woods and around these mountains, camp in the campgrounds. People have been camping here for generations. And people who come into the county bring money to the county. In addition, the working lands component of grazing and healthy working forest is a, and also a major contributor to the county economy. I think the Tianway Community Forest can be an excellent example in a large landscape of how to raise cattle in a way that, that protects the rivers and still produces food. If the person who's responsible for telling the cows where to go today understands what they need to eat and what they need to not eat in order to keep the stream healthy, that will go a long, long way toward protecting the watershed, which is the key to protecting the stream. It's that connection between the river and the forest as well that we want to try to make sure people understand that uh, we have to keep on managing the whole landscape. When you have a healthy watershed system, you also have healthy wildlife, and that attracts other kinds of people. I'm also a hardcore birder. I don't go anywhere without my binoculars. When our economy is doing well, it's great for the state's economy. As we take care of the river, it takes care of us. That's people and fish and wildlife. That's why it's so important.